Good morning, everyone. Praise God for this is the day the Lord has made. Come on, let's rejoice and be glad in it. Praise God. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Father, we thank you so much for a brand new day where you allowed us to come together, Lord God, to break open your word. So, Father, bless me as I speak to your people. May they be edified and you be glorified in Jesus' name. I'm going to go to Galatians, the sixth chapter, reading verses seven down through nine. Do not be deceived. God is not mocked. For whatever a man sows, that he will also reap. For he who sows to the flesh will, will of the flesh reap corruption, but he who sows to the spirit will of the spirit reap everlasting life. And let us not grow weary while doing good, for in due season we shall reap if we do not lose heart. Praise God. I like to use for a subject today. Don't get weary in doing good. You know, God has established a principle in this world, and it's called sowing and reaping. So, no, there's no such thing as karma. No, it's nothing about what goes around, comes around. All of that is spoken pretty much to redirect people from God's word. Praise God. What God has said, what God has established, the principle in the earth is sowing and reaping. Yes. Yeah. Our text says in verse 7, do not be deceived. God is not mocked. For whatever a man sows, that he will also reap. In other words, you can't ridicule God. You can't tease and make fun of him. Not only him, you can't do that to him nor his people and think that you will fool God. Mm -mm. You can't do that, ridicule God and say, well, I didn't mean that. I didn't say it that way. No, uh, because God knows a man's heart. Not only does he know the heart, he knows the intent of the heart. So, yes, whatever you a man sows, that he shall also reap. Praise God. Whatever you plant, yeah, whatever you sow, you will reap, you will produce, you will have a result, you will have a return. Yes, whatever you sow, you shall reap. If you sow a good day's work, for an, for an example, get this, you'll reap a good day's paycheck. Now, if you should get mad at your manager, your boss, curse them out or whatever, it's a good chance you're going to reap a pink slip. Mm-hmm. Yeah, verse 8 of our text. For he who sows to the flesh will of the flesh reap corruption, but he who sows to the spirit will of the spirit reap everlasting life. Well, what does sowing to the flesh and what does sowing to the spirit look like? Paul sums it up pretty well in Romans, the eighth chapter, verses five through eight. Listen to what Paul says. For those who live according to the flesh set their minds on the things of the flesh, but those who live according to the Spirit, the things of the Spirit. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Because the carnal mind is enmity against God, for it is not subject to the law of God, nor can it be. So then, those who are in the flesh cannot please God. You know, the Bible actually says over in Romans 13 and 14, Paul takes it a little further. He says, put on the Lord Jesus Christ, and get this, make no provisions for the flesh to fulfill its lust. Yeah, praise God. So those who cater to the flesh, their mind is set on pleasing their flesh. And get this, they cannot please God and their flesh at the same time. Mm -mm. Yeah, the flesh, get this, the flesh will actually pull you away from God and the things of God. Why is that? Because God is spirit. Yeah, God speaks to our spirit, man. He deals with, he relates to our spirit. Yeah, praise God. He wants those who will worship him in spirit and in truth. And then our text, verse 9, let us not grow weary while doing good, for in due season we shall reap if we do not lose heart. Paul is saying, praise God, telling every one of us, let us not grow weary in sowing to the spirit. Mm -mm, don't grow weary. Don't go dis grow discouraged. Yeah, praise God. Uh, let us not grow weary. That phrase there, let us not. That means we have a choice in the matter. It means it's up to each individual. It's up to each child of God not to allow themselves to grow weary, uh, not to allow themselves to lose heart or lose hope. 
Yeah, for in due season we shall reap if we do not lose heart. Reap what? Well, for one thing, the most important thing, everlasting life. Yeah, praise God. God has given every one of us something to do for the kingdom of God. Yeah, he's given us something. Yeah, your cause, your reason for God breathing into you, waking you up each morning. Surely you didn't think it was your alarm clock. No, God woke you up this morning for this still good works for you to do for the kingdom of God. Ephesians 2 and 10, for we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. But Pastor, I'm tired. I, I, I'm weary. It doesn't seem like I'm appreciated. It doesn't seem like I'm recognized for my good works. I'm tired. It, it doesn't seem like I'm accomplishing anything. Well, my brothers and sisters, if no one else recognizes you, if no one else appreciates you, get this, God does. Yeah, praise God. And that's who counts, praise God. Everything we do is for the glory of God. Yeah, praise God. So if you find yourself weary, if you find yourself discouraged, do as David did in 1 Samuel, the 30th chapter, and come on and encourage yourself. Yeah, turn on some worship music, praise God, right there in your house and start singing and dancing to the glory of God. Yeah, get with a brother or sister, have coffee in the morning, and read through the scriptures. Better yet, come to Bible study. Yeah, praise God. Yeah, do something something for the glory of God, praise God. Serve others as, uh, as if you're serving the Lord, praise God. And get this, you will feel your strength, your spirit being uplifted and renewed. Yeah, praise God. You know, too many of God's children are giving up. They're saying they're tired. Too many of God's children are allowing themselves to be discouraged. Oh, praise God. But let me remind you of what Paul said in Colossians 3 and 2. Set your mind on things above and not on things on the earth. He says in Philippians 2 and 5, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. My brothers and sisters, please don't give up. Don't lose heart, praise God. Get this, for there is too much to lose and too much to gain if you don't give up. Mm -mm, praise God. And Jesus puts it this way, Jesus himself in Luke 9, 62 no one having put their hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of God. Isaiah wrote in Isaiah 40 and 31, but those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not get weary. They shall walk and not faint. You know, to wait on the Lord is to wait with expectation. But not only that, praise God, it's about waiting on him, get this, while serving him. Yeah, look to him with expectation while you're taking care of his business as you're waiting on him. Yeah, much like a waiter waits on you when you go to a restaurant, they stand there and they wait to take your order. They wait on you to serve you. Praise God. Every morning we wake up, praise God. Every morning God blesses us, praise God, to wake up. We should be asking the question, Lord, what can I do for you today? Yeah, that's waiting on him. Mm -hmm. And get this, we serve God by doing good works, the works he prepared beforehand for us to do. Yes, serve his people. Get out, praise God. Visit the sick and shut in. Usher if you need to, if God has called you to do it. Sing in the choir, the praise team. Don't mumble, don't grumble. Praise God. Waiting on the Lord is doing the good works God created you to do. Yeah, praise God. Go do something for an elderly person in the church. Praise God. A neighbor. Praise God. See after the widows in the church. See that they're taken care of. Do the good works God has prepared for you to do. Wait on the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. Don't you get weary in well-doing. Praise God. Stand in the gap for your pastor and his wife. Pray for them. Pray for your brothers and sisters in Christ. Come on now. Wait on the Lord. Is serving the Lord. Get this by serving his people. Soul to the Spirit. Mm. Uh, soul to the Spirit of God. And get this, you will, re -re you will reap God's reward. Yes, praise God. He will renew your strength, my brothers and sisters. Yeah, we are God's waiters. Yes, we are. Don't get weary in doing good. Father, we thank you so much for this word today. 
Lord God in heaven, thank you for reminding us, God, don't allow that we should not allow ourselves to get discouraged because we're working it, Lord God, to your glory. And, Father in heaven, we want to sow into your kingdom our time, our talents, and our treasures. Father in heaven, bless your people with this word today. May we marinate in it today. May your word just resonate with us. We pray it in the powerful name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Praise God. Hallelujah.